Hey there, I'm Rob Hatch, and this is Simple Decisions. My apologies for the scratchy voice. We're, we're just going to press on. To automate is human. This is a phrase that I started using several years ago in the context of how we might use email marketing automation, for example. That the idea being that automation should not get in the way. We shouldn't just sort of put people through these automated funnels unless there are opportunities to engage, unless the automation serves the purpose of delivering relevant content and a human interaction at some point along the way. Let me give you an example. I would frequently have sales for a webinar or a course. And over the course of seven days, we would send out a series of emails to our email marketing list. If someone happened to click on the buy button or the link inside the email, but didn't end up buying within say 45 minutes or so, they would get an email follow up from me. Now this was automated. It would, it would go right to them and it would say, Hey, I noticed that you clicked on this, but you didn't end up signing up. Do you have any questions that I can answer for you? Um, maybe you got busy, maybe you got distracted, whatever it is. So just wanted to check in and see if you had any questions that I could possibly answer. Now, at this point, people had all sorts of different reactions to it. One, some people in the early days certainly found it kind of creepy because they didn't realize that, you know, we could do those sorts of things. But if they replied to me, I was the person who received it and then responded. So if they in fact did have a question, I was the human that could answer that question for them. And then at that point we had uh, a one-to-one -one conversation. There was a relationship that was being formed. So even if they didn't end up purchasing the webinar or the course, it wasn't a good fit. Uh, the automation served the purpose of bringing us together and they got to have an interaction and, and see basically that we were in fact, uh, you know, human beings selling this webinar and we cared about them. And, and if it was for them, great. If it wasn't for them, that's fine too. But we were available to have uh, conversations with and answer any questions. To automate is human. That's the goal. Using automation, sort of one to many approach can work, but it, if you, you don't have some sort of purpose behind it, some way to engage with someone, it really falls flat and people end up feeling um, like they're just, like they don't matter. The same is true with action stacks. I use action stacks to kind of guide me through a very specific process, a repeatable plan, a repeatable project, something that I do more than twice. I don't wanna to have to remember all the steps. So all the steps are there. I go through each step, I check it off. What this does is allows me to, one, not have to use a whole lot of brain power to get through that. I can just follow the checklist and do the things. I'm not having to remember and make sure I do the right thing in the right order. But also, I can actually use it to guide a conversation. In the case of, say, a, an interaction with a doctor, they all have checklists that they have to follow. Certain questions have to be answered with every visit, but if they use that as a platform for service, if they use that checklist as a way to engage, have a conversation, and then they can attend to what they need to fill in, that's it's a much better way of engaging to automate your brain. Yes, I have these things that I have to get through. I have to make sure that I answer. It's the way in which you use that, basically a really simplified automation, a checklist, to, to support you to then engage and ask questions. You don't have to be robotic about it and go through each step. You can use it to support you so that you can have uh, an, an actual human interaction. To automate as humans, it's all about your intention and how you use automation to support you to do more of what you want and to build relationships with clients or with customers. I'm Rob Hatch and this is Simple Decisions.